Streets crowded with people and cars, shops busy, and what seems a normal working day in the ministries. This is how the Gaza Strip locked on Monday morning, after three days of continuous fighting between Israel and the Islamic Jihad militant group. Families and friends can finally pay their respects to the dead, with mourning houses once again allowed to open due to the ceasefire. Mahmoud Khadr, a florist in Gaza, has been extremely busy putting together flower arrangements. He says he's fed up of what seems like a regular horror show. We hope life will return to normal after the war. People are now starting to return to their work. Every year we live through a war more difficult than the one before. We're tired of it. We just want to live in peace without fear and death. The Ministry of Interior in Gaza has been warning people to stay away from damaged areas so expert teams can secure buildings and carry out their investigations of Israeli raids. But it seems there is much more than just structural damage. The war has brought destruction. Yes, we're relieved that it has ended, but Israel bombed my house and more than five neighboring houses were also damaged. It's no longer suitable to live in, not to mention the fear and terror the children have experienced. All the children in our area now need special psychological care. Meanwhile, the Israeli authorities have decided to partly reopen the Karm Shalom crossing in southeast Gaza to allow in fuel, food and medical supplies. It comes after the escalation brought about a humanitarian catastrophe in the territory, when power shortages due to a lack of fuel brought severe disruptions to medical and emergency services.